Hello everyone, and welcome to another Tech It How To. Today I'm going to be talking about the computer craft monitors. I recently went to use them and realized that they're not super simple to use, so hopefully this will help you out if you're planning on using them. The first thing you're going to need is the computer craft CPU. Now these are pretty simple to make. All you need is some stone, not cobblestone, regular stone, a piece of redstone, a piece of glass pane. That's going to give you your regular computer. Next you're going to need a disk drive. Uh, I shouldn't say need, this is optional, but if you want to move your programs from computer to computer, you use a disk drive, you put them on a disk, it's nice and easy. So this is very similar, you just need stone and a couple pieces of redstone. The disk itself is made with a piece of paper and a piece of redstone. I'm going to make one of those, take it with me. And finally, the monitors themselves are made with stone surrounding a piece of glass pane. I'm going to grab a couple of these just to show you how they work. Now here you see I've already placed down a CPU and a disk drive. And I've already put down some monitors. Now I do have some more here, and I'm going to show you how as you place more, they auto-connect like that. See? Now for them to auto connect to the bigger piece you saw that I had to place all four because it's only going to work in rectangles you're not going to be able to get some weird shapes out of it there is also a maximum size so you can't make some gigantic display the size of your entire building now I'm gonna start off putting my disk into the disk drive you just right click the disk drive put your disk in there now you see the little light came on so you know there's a disk now I'm gonna right click on my computer my terminal here and I'm going to be using the, the peripheral APIs that are in ComputerCraft. Not everything is going to be available because I'm running TechIt, and TechIt actually uses an older version of, com of um, ComputerCraft. And so it's not going to have all the things available. So if you're Googling how to use the monitors, uh, I found some stuff that um, isn't available in this version. So just be, be wary if you're looking up that stuff. Now, I'm going to create a program and use the APIs, like I said, to talk to the monitor. And something I got hung up on that's important to note is that this peripheral API will only work from within a program. You can't just type it here in the terminal. So just remember that. I am going to, however, type into this terminal, edit, which will either edit a program or create it if it doesn't exist. Now, I want to write the program onto the disk drive. So I'm going to do space, disk and then slash whatever my program name is. Now I'm going to call it startup because if you reboot the computer or your server reboots or anything like that, when this computer turns on, it's going to search for a file called startup and run that program automatically. It'll search the disk drive first and then on the normal CPU if you don't have a disk drive. So disk slash startup and I'm going to hit enter and it just brings up the uh, programming screen just like a notepad editor. I'm going to start off creating a variable for my monitor. Uh, most examples online use MON, short for monitor, so I'm going to stick with that. Now, you could technically have more than one. You could have a monitor on the top and a monitor on the bottom, and you could call it MON top and MON bottom and address, uh, address them both differently. So I'm going to say equals peripheral. That's always weird to say when you're spelling it because it looks wrong. Dot wrap and then open parentheses, and then in quotes, top. And that's describing which edge of the computer it's connected to. And you saw that I had put it on the top. So that's what I'm putting. You could put left, right, bottom. And let's see, the next thing I want to do is make sure that the monitor is cleared. Because if there's already something on there, but I restart, I want it to be clear. So mon dot clear, and then open close parentheses. So now that I've created this variable MON for monitor, anytime I want to address that variable, which basically is the screen on the top, I'm going to do MON dot and then whatever function I'm going to call. So that's going to be repeated. Now, if the cursor is in a, a, any other place except the beginning, I want to make sure it's at the beginning when I start putting in text. Also, when you write text to the screen, it's important to note that it's not going to automatically go to the next line after every write command. So you have to manually set the cursor position. So I'm going to start MON dot and then set cursor 
position, abbreviated POS, and 1 comma 1. This is your x and y coordinates, which is column and row. And it starts at 1, not 0. So now that I've set the cursor position to the home, I actually want to put some text on there. That's the whole point, right? So mon dot write, and then open parentheses, and then in quotes, the text you want to put on there. So I'm going to say, hello world. And then I'm going to close parentheses. Now, if I want to put something on the very next line, like I said, I have to set the cursor position. So mon dot set cursor pos. And the x is going to be the same. That's the column. I want to stay in column 1. But I want to go to row 2. So I'm going to put comma 2. Uh, also note that the c and p are capitalized in that set cursor position. Now I want to write another line. So mon dot write. And then in <clears throat> quotations, second line. Close my parentheses. And that's basically it. You could add a whole bunch more lines. You could add other stuff to the program if you want. And I want to save this program. It's not saved yet. So I'm going to hit Control. If you look at the very bottom, hit Control. And now it's going to say Save or Exit. You can use your arrows to toggle between the two and hit Enter. That'll save. Now I want to exit out of this. So I'm going to hit Control again. And you can actually hit S or E as abbreviations. So now I'm back to my, my terminal. So I hit escape. There's nothing on the screen yet. So all that stuff I typed hasn't applied yet. I'm going to right click on it. Now I can run the program manually by typing disk slash startup. But I'm not going to do that because I'm going to show you when you reboot the machine how that startup file gets run automatically. So I'm just going to type reboot, which is going to reboot the whole machine. It's going to say goodbye. And now it's rebooted. And what it did is it went and searched for that startup file and it ran it. So you can see hello world and second line. So that's basically how you're going to use the monitors. Uh, I might show some more detail later. Maybe I'll make another tutorial about how to change the font size and stuff like that. You can do that. But this is basically how to get started with monitors and computer craft. Hopefully this was helpful. I went and had to learn it the hard way because I've never used them before. And hopefully this makes your life a little bit easier. And make sure to tune in next time. Maybe I'll have some more computer craft. Maybe I'll talk about a different mod. But enjoy your tech it and have a good one.